Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14.4 and some more new features and also about the upcoming iOS 14.5. So we have some details from Apple regarding iOS 14.5 and we're going to talk about its release date on the beta version, the final version and of course what to expect from this new update. So let's get started with some more new features on iOS 14.4. All right, starting off with the App Store. Now, this is a feature that I found. I'm pretty sure this is new on iOS 14.4, even though I'm not 100% sure it is new. But even if it's not, you will learn a pretty cool trick on the App Store. I did ask users on Twitter whether they've seen this feature before. No one saw it, and I believe it is new with iOS 14.4. So on the search section of the App Store, if you search for something like, let's say, games, I go ahead and search for games here. You will notice that once it shows the search result, it will also show right there filters at the top. Now you can apply these filters simply by tapping on one of them and it will filter your search result, of course. It will show more like filters here. You can choose a few of them. And of course, you can also remove any of them. And that way you can modify the results of your search. So you can see right here, based on this, it will also show other filters really really cool and it will make searching for games or apps anything you want way easier as of course it allows you to modify what you're seeing on the search result and find exactly what you need another feature on ios 14.4 if you own an apple watch you will see a new watch face called unity right here on the apple watch app and you will be able to of course add it to your apple watch so you can see right here we'll be able to customize it you will have all the standard customization options that you get with watch faces on ios this is now new with ios 14.4 and a new feature within the settings app if you go to accessibility and go to voiceover go to rotor actions right here we'll find a new menu that says direct touch apps now direct touch apps allows voiceover to control an app directly without requiring any more interaction with that app so if you tap right here it will show you a list of all the apps that you have on your device now then from here you can go ahead and pick basically for which apps you want to use this option you can just go ahead and individually select any of the apps that you have right here now according to the release notes of ios 14.4 ios 14.4 also will patch some security bugs that are really really important and according to apple they have actively been exploited so we're talking about a kernel and two webkit bugs so basically these are like bugs that allow application to elevate privileges on the kernel and then we have like the webkit bugs that have been reported where a remote attacker might be able to cause arbitrary code execution on any device so these have been fixed so this is very very important for the security of your phone and of your data so of course it is recommended that you go ahead and update your device to ios 14.4 now let's talk just a bit more about iOS 14.4 here before we get into iOS 14.5 and a couple of bugs that I have noticed. First of them, the signal is dropping very frequently here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've noticed it since updating to iOS 14.4. I've seen the signal drop quite a few times and that of course is very, very annoying. Hopefully Apple will have a quick fix for this. Maybe I was 14.4.1 should come really, really soon. Hopefully they will not wait for iOS 14.5 because it will be quite a long time. And this is a very serious bug, of course, that will annoy you. And it is really important. Of course, you always want to be connected to your data. And another bug that I've noticed, if you go to the camera settings on iOS 14.4 and you will have here preserved settings, you will notice you have the settings. So if you have ever used them right here, you have camera mode. So basically camera mode, if you enable it right here, it will preserve your last setting so if you're on the camera and have that enabled you go to video then what it will do is basically every time you go out of the app close the app and go back 
to the camera app it will take you to the photo mode it won't preserve that setting of course with this off but with iOS 14.4 it still preserves the setting you can see I can close that right now and it's still right there even though preserve setting is set to off and this is very annoying anytime I go back to the camera want to quickly take a picture I'm on the video mode or maybe on the portrait mode any other mode that I didn't choose to preserve from here hopefully that will be fixed very very soon and just in general iOS 14.4 otherwise it's quite good performance great of course with the new devices you can expect that and with iOS 14 being on 14.4 right now you can expect it to have a good performance battery not that good better than iOS 14.3 in my experience but still a lot to be basically improved here by Apple Hopefully on iOS 14.5, they will focus more on battery life as we're getting closer, of course, to the release of the beta of iOS 15, which will be now in like five months or less. It will, of course, hopefully just go ahead and improve iOS 14 because there are devices that won't be able to support iOS 15 and they should leave a good iOS version for those devices and of course the newer devices because we still have to use that iOS until September when iOS 15 gets released. So now let's move on and talk about iOS 14.5. So basically, Apple talked about the new update that is coming really soon, and that should be, of course, iOS 14.5. If you have seen like reports regarding this pop-up or right here, this new privacy feature that we've seen on iOS 14.4, it has popped up quite a few times, but Apple says that it is coming officially with a new update that is coming really, really soon, and we can expect the beta of that software to come in February. I believe as early as next week, this upcoming week, we should see the first beta of iOS 14.5, which will officially be the launch of this new feature. The new privacy feature, which basically makes apps ask you before they can track you. Very important for the privacy of your data. Now, I've used iOS 14.4 since the first beta, and I've noticed this pop up quite a few times here on apps like NBA or just like random apps. I've never seen it on Facebook. A lot of people have seen this feature like pop up on Facebook. I never saw it, but according to Apple, this is officially coming with iOS 14.5. So expect iOS 14.5 to come out on the first beta as early as the first week of February. Now, according to Apple, this feature will be available to the public in early spring. So I expect iOS 14.5 to be released sometime in the beginning of April or end the last week of March. That way, Apple will release this new feature, which will be very, very important. And of course, has caused a lot of debate regarding the new privacy feature, which will make apps basically ask before they can track a user. Now, Apple has also gave us some more details regarding this new feature and how it works. Basically, according to Apple, apps App, app devs cannot ask people to allow tracking in order to use the full capabilities of their apps. And of course, if you select the ask not to track feature, then basically it just the system will just block the advertising identifier on the phone, which means that it cannot be used to track you, which of course is really, really important. And according to Apple, if they learn that an, a dev is tracking you still after you have asked them not to track you, then Apple might remove that app from the app store or of course just ask them first to change their practices and then if they don't remove the app completely from the app store so that's basically it for this video guys iOS 14.4 some more new features and iOS 14.5 which is coming very soon I believe as early as next week we will see the first beta of iOS 14.5 getting released to the devs and then in a few weeks by the end of March or the first week of April we will see iOS 14.5 with the new tracking feature coming out to the public that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on the next one